Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, so this morning I want to talk to you about the one thing I hate about the mornings. And that is the fact that I wake up and the first thing I want to do is go down to the gym. But I know that if I try and do a fasted training session, it's, it's not going to be as good as if I eat first. But if I want to eat first, I've got to leave it an hour and a half or two hours for that to digest so that I don't feel sick in the gym. So it's like once I do wake up, I know that I can't actually go to the gym until it's been about two or three hours after I've woken up, which really fucks me off because I wake up in the mood that I just want to get into things. I want to crack into it, you know. I want to get the gym out of the way so then I can move on to other tasks in the day. But um, this morning, this morning I'm going to go against uh, against the grain, you could say. And, um, you know, when I was cutting, I was doing fasted trainings all the time. And I was wondering why I felt weak, why I felt like I couldn't push those extra few reps. And it's because I didn't have the nutrients running through my body, you know. As soon as I started eating properly before my workouts, the pumps were amazing, um, I was getting more reps, I was getting stronger, and, you know, I, I really do think that fasted training, weight training, is just, it's not worth it. But this morning we're going to do it anyway, because um, I really can't be fucked waiting. Uh, I've got arms this morning. Now, if it was something like legs or back, I certainly would eat something before I go. But if it's something like arms, it's not too taxing on the actual torso, you know. Um, it's you don't need you don't need too much energy. And I feel like even if I don't have any nutrients in me, um, I'm still going to get a good a good workout because they're such small muscles, um, you know. All you got to do is squeeze them and contract them. Um, at a nice tempo and you're going to get a good workout so that's what we're going to do we're going to go for a mixture of low rep and high rep stuff so that's what I've been doing for most workouts most muscle groups lately um, low rep we're talking six to eight high rep we're talking anywhere from you know 10 to 12 up to 15 or 20 um, and I'll do probably at least one exercise at the low reps for four or five working sets and then at least one or two exercises at the higher reps uh, for probably yet yeah, another 10 working sets. So each exercise I do, I usually do five working sets. The number of reps can be different, you know, depending on the exercise, but I definitely try to mix it up between the two and, um, re you know, recruit the, the maximum amount of muscle fibers in that muscle group. So I'm going to go and make a caffeinated beverage. I don't know what I'm going to use, but I have been using this actually. This was a birthday present from, well, one of the only birthday presents I got. Um, and it's by Chris Gethin, pretty sure. Uh, Pre-caged, it's a pre-workout. Now this is actually a, a nicely dosed pre-workout, I must say. And the fruit punch flavor, which I don't usually like, um, I don't find too bad. So I, I got that as birthday present from a mate from the gym and I've used it pretty much every day. So the um, amino energy which I would normally use as a you know pre-workout and stuff first thing in the morning blah 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 um, I've been replacing with this one so yeah not a bad pre-workout. Anyways I'm gonna get a serve of that or probably about two-thirds of a scoop because a scoop is just far too much I think. How much fucking caffeine have we got in the serve? You really got to watch the caffeine in these, eh? Because once you've drunk it, there's no going back. <laughs> but uh, there's 274 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. So I, I usually go with two thirds, so that would be probably about 180 milligrams, which is pretty much perfect for me. But with that said, I'm going to get to the gym and I'll see you there. And one other cool thing, actually, just before I do go, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I got some knee sleeves. Oh no, I did show you guys actually, it's probably about two months ago. But I thought they were too big, um, which they were. And my legs were fucking pretty tiny after the cut that I did for so long. So um, they're really good. They're by Iron Tanks. 
and it's basically it's basically a knee sleeve and then what you do is you pull these velcro strips around and make it nice and tight on the three three areas one below one at and one above the knee and they actually feel really good my my legs have grown guys they've grown from you know i think 24 and a half inches is what they were at at the smallest and they're up where's my tape measure oh, i'm not gonna fucking they're up probably around about 26 inches right now obviously more body fat but i'm not worried about that and what that does mean is that i've got another inch on my legs at least and i'm filling these out now so these are fucking good heavy duty um, they are quite stiff i know that i'm going to need to use them to sort of get get them uh, molded a little bit um, but i can't wait so for any of you guys wondering is iron tanks and they're large but we're not doing legs today are we we're doing fucking arms What do you reckon guys? Making games? 